Hello and welcome to Let's Play 2 2016. This is 2K. I am here with Swirly for another set of Underground Extreme. E -me 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 -me. This is 20 episode 26, I think. I've been doing a few of these, Swirly. Yeah, we can uh, pump these out. Yeah. How how you doing? How's it going? How's it going in the land of Swirls? Um, uh, good. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how it's going in the land of Locker Room. Uh, bad. Oh, Real bad. <laughs> well, Prototype forgot to shake someone's hand and needs to buy drinks. Come on, John. Is John even 21 at this point? Yeah, for sure. Okay. What do you think this is? He's shit in a bag or something. Nah, he's just real shellfish. Uh, okay. Take no action. Oh, good. His personality got worse. Okay, well. Chris Harrow is pissed. <sighs> All right. Good. Everything's great. Man, Conan was right about this Vampiro guy. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. That's something's... Maybe we should hire Conan. That'll help our backstage. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, we should probably start with Rey Mysterio and Rob Van Dam, huh? Uh, yeah, probably. I think that's that's the big that's the big thing coming out of the last show. Yes. Oh, all right. So Rob... also, I guess I guess I should mention this. Like, I guess the picture is using him with the mask. So I just assumed is this masked or maskless Rey Mysterio? I mean. <laughs> Like, he's coming off his WCW run where he would have been no mask Rey Mysterio. But that's dumb. Okay, so we, we pulled the WWE and put the mask uh, back on. Yeah, but like, he showed up to sign the contract and we handed him the mask. Like, no, just, just here. Do this. <laughs> I mean, if that's what we're doing, I almost feel like we need to do, we should, we should have a segment where he's like, hey, it's really me, Rey Mysterio, but I'm putting my mask back on so people don't think they're being bamboozled <laughs> by a fake Rey Mysterio. Why does that Rey Mysterio look like Hunico? <laughs> Alright, uh... Should that be the opening segment? Yeah, I mean, he... I mean, Rob can be there, too. I am. Um... That, that can be part of this. Like, he should just basically come out and be like, Oh, you know, I've come here to ultimate... Und uh, Extreme under under fucking I forgot the name of our promotion. Weird <laughs> <laughs> underground extreme. Wow, uh, this Ray Mysterio promo sounds a lot like a Kalisto promo. <laughs> I've come here to do good lucha things. God damn it! Because uh, it you know it's the best place for me to showcase my high flying skills. You know he could take some shots about uh, up north and the the big slow wrestlers, and this is where the real action happens. And then Rob Van Dam can come out and be like. I'm happy you're here, brother. And then Ray will be like, all right, well, I'm happy to be here too, but I'm coming for that belt. And then you've already had Jake Roberts come out, and now he <laughs> says whatever he says. I mean, were you not going to have Jake Roberts come out and make the main event for tonight? Oh, yeah, sure, that can happen. Jake Roberts comes out and is like, hey, Ray Mysterio, I don't know who the hell you think you are coming in here and demanding title shots, but, you know, here at Underground Extreme, you have to earn it. So unlike that company up north, we can get two digs in. Yeah, them. two. And we've so, definitely never given out random title shots here. No. You gotta beat Sabu. Oh my god! Oh god damn, it, I forgot Joey was on <laughs> It could I mean it could have been worse. We could have had Tony Schiavone and then he'd This oh, is the greatest is night. The greatest night in the history of first sport. Oh boy! All right, I I have a match. Okay. All right. It is a tag team match, player player. Between, uh, which two do I want to use? Say, Chris Hero and Captain Mexico. Okay. And we'll say Reckless Youth and Reckless Youth Friend. DJ Quacky Q. And it's going to be a, a relatively easy win. We'll say normal normal match time, but Ovi's going to get the win here. 
But then after the match, he'll get attacked. And he will get attacked by... Vampiro. Oh, no. Yeah. But, but why? I mean, we don't know. Vampiro is a spooky guy. He shows up, hits him with the whatever he does thing. Nail in the coffin. What's Vampiro's finish? <laughs> yeah. The nail in the coffin. Hits him with the nail in the coffin and then stand over his body and Hero's like, but but why? It's, which which I guess now that I think about it is a Michinoku driver, which might might be also an issue. Oh. Taco's here. Oh goodness. Okay. Yeah. Also, it's an actual t uh, Michinoku driver, which apparently no uh, wrestling announcer in the world knows what that looks like anymore. <laughs> what are you talking about? A Falcon Arrow and a Michinoku driver are the same yeah, goddamn yeah. thing. Every, I feel like any time someone does like a sit-out move, the announcer is just like, ah, Falcon Arrow or Michinoku driver. Like, It's a sit-out maneuver right there. <laughs> All right. You got anything? We, need a, we also need a, a quick match here, too. A flippy match. Like a... Okay. Um... How about... Oh, boy. We do... Mm -hmm. Super Crazy and Super Dragon. Okay. I'm with you. Uh, and they could be two dudes... Got it. Let me find the two dutiest dudes that they could beat. Uh, I took your two dudes. They are going to be... Tony Mama Luke? Actually, wait, no. We want this to be like a... A car crash match? Uh, yes. All right. So, no, 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 go back, go back. We can, we can make this work. Yeah, I'm going to. I was clicking All it. Right. It wasn't working. They can take on Flyboy Red. And Tajiri? Tajiri's a cowboy, not a rapper. All right, we did that thing, didn't we? All right, well, then they can take on Tajiri and AJ Styles. I like it. That is about what I was about to suggest. And, uh, yeah, it was super crazy. And Super Dragon? Yes. Fresh off winning their 10-month their feud. <laughs> All right. We do car crash for this one, I'm assuming. Yeah. And who is the winner? Uh, Super Dragon is going to pin AJ Styles with interference from Alexis Lurie. Ah. Uh. What a what a sad state of affairs it is between Alexis Lurie and AJ Styles now. I'm telling you. This poor guy. And then after the match, mm -hmm. uh, Super Crazy is going to grab a microphone and be like, We the Supers, we're the best team in the wrestling, and we're coming for the tag team titles. Just want to check something? No? Where? He speaks English. I'm Does pretty he? sure. I'm pretty sure. sure. Are we sure about this? I mean, Super fluid, Dragon... Fluid English, okay. Yeah, like Super Dragon doesn't speak, so he's really... Yeah, that would be option. a problem. <laughs> yeah. Super Dragon is there. Yep. Okay, carry on, sorry. Uh, they're just calling out uh, Punk and Cabana. Okay. Okay, um, is there one more angle we want to do before the main event? Or you want to just book the main event real quick and see what we end up with? Uh, I have an angle if, if, uh... Go for it. That we can do real quick. Do it to it. Uh, Tommy Dreamer and Nigel McGuinness backstage. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh and then Tommy Dreamer is going to be like... Oh, man, I can't believe we lost that tag title match. I thought I'd replace Carino with a perfect partner, but, boy, you just can't get good help these days. I don't know what I'm going to do. And then McGinnis is going to be like, 
hey, uh, mate, have you ever considered that maybe you're the problem? <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know why he was Australian. Uh, and, and then, uh, and then, uh, Chimer's gonna, like, grab him and, like, shove him against the locker and be like, who do you think you're talking to? I brought you into this company. You owe me everything. And then McGinnis is gonna be like, all right, all right. Chill, okay. You're right, you're right. It was my fault. All right. Detention. Yes, exact. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Glad you picked that up. I should probably put who's in this because you were only going to see the word dissension when we look at it to see what we booked. That's fine. Okay. All right. Um. Sabu and uh, Ray Mysterio. Moment of truth. How good is Ray Mysterio? He's pretty good. I mean, I've heard of him. We don't even know if this is really Rey Mysterio. No, that's why I had him do. I had wanted him to show the people his face. Just be like, "Yeah, no, it's me." It's the guy with the same tattoos. Ray's winning, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just I I took that for granted, but like, yeah, Ray Ray's winning that. All right, that's technically everything we need to book. Mm hmm. Is there anything else you want to add? I, I mean, we can say Rob and Ray, like, talking again for next week. I don't know if Rob has to, like, come out, if that's what you're... You know what? I I got one thing. Okay. After the main event, Sabu's beat up, right? Mm-hmm. Taka Michinoku comes out. And he hits... He hits Sabu with the an actual Michinoku driver. <laughs> Reaches into his pants, takes out a wallet attached to a chain, and <laughs> takes the money that's owed to him. <laughs> so I like this who wrestled this whole match with a fucking wallet chain. No, like, no wonder he lost. Yeah, he kept landing on it and being like, ooh, yeah. ah, my spine. Because <laughs> it's, of course, in his back pocket. Yeah, of course. Where else would you keep a wallet chain? I don't, I don't know. I don't know how wallet chains work. I, I was too young when they yeah. were in fashion to have Oh, one. were you? You never owned one? No. By the time I was, like, old enough to, like, actually be carrying around a wallet, it was considered, like, super tacky to have a wallet chain. Oh, buddy boy. Let me tell you about my high school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're good. All right. We're right in the show. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. These guys I can mean, all talk. Well, I mean, it, without Ray, this would have got to be. Oh, right. So, well, like, Ray dragged it down a lot, actually. Maybe Ray will be doing less talking moving forward. Yeah, probably. We probably don't need to have him talk every week. Hey, this did okay. Yeah, I forgot that Chris Hero is, like, bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh. Oh, boy. Well... Welcome to the mid-card, Vampiro. You will be I, remaining here. I can't believe this did that bad, honestly. Yup. Like, those are two of our more over guys. Not anymore, they're not. Yeah, apparently. This did better. Yeah, this... Mm -hmm. Watch this do better now. No. Nope. No. Very much not. <laughs> People don't want to see super crazy talk. Huh. Oh, this is not looking to be a strong showing. Okay. I mean, I'm not surprised that that did terrible, to be fair. Ooh. Oh, they didn't click. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Well, Aka, no? Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that wasn't ever going to be our saving grace. Well. Man, good thing we spent all that money on Rey Mysterio. Oh, boy. Well, we'll, uh, we'll see you next time. Paul, Paul Terrell's face is how I feel right now. <laughs> Bye.